Great, so welcome back. So this is the last video on ratios you need to know and we're going to look at specific efficiency ratios. The first is inventory turnover. You take the total amount of cost per goods sold and you divide it by the value of, the, of your inventory. And that tells you on an average year how many times per year you turn over your inventory. So let's say I have the number eight. That tells me that roughly eight times per year I turn over my inventory. You take this number, your inventory turnover, it becomes the denominator of your inventory turn-in days and the numerator is 360. Okay? Let's say I have the number 45 out of here. That tells me that throughout the year normally I have about 45 days of inventory on hand. We also have accounts receivable turnover. That's the dollar amount of sales divided by the amount of accounts receivable. Let's say that I have a number, once again, let's use nine. Okay? That tells me that basically nine times a year my accounts receivable turns over. I take that number, I stick it in the denominator here, and I put 360 in my numerator, and this is an important ratio. This is the average collection period. So once again, let's say I have the number 45 it tells me that throughout the year on average it takes me about 45 days to collect all of my accounts receivable. You've also got your accounts payable turnover. That's the cost of goods sold divided by the amount of accounts payable. Once again, let's say I have the number nine, that tells me about nine times per year I turn over my total accounts payable. This number is insanely useful because you stick that in the denominator of accounts payable turnover uh, and the numerator you stick 360 and this is the average payment period. In other words, if I have the number 45 here, that tells me that on average throughout the year it takes me about 45 days to pay my suppliers or any other accounts payable that I have. Great. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, discussion of ratios you need to know. Make sure you give me a like or a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and um, also comment below if you have any questions. Hope you enjoyed these videos, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in um, next videos.